Good morning, and today it's time to start a new project. We have a convention coming up in about two months, so we are starting a pretty big, well I don't know if it's pretty big, decently sized project with multiple layers that I need to get started on. So for today, I'm actually going to get started on this, my little hoop skirt. I know technically it's probably a farthingale, but the pattern calls it a hoop skirt, so that's what I'm calling it. So let's get started. Alright, the first thing we have to do is cut out the pattern, and to do that I have to haul out my log of muslin, as you just saw. Um, laying out the pattern, and adding some weights, Oop, and I got a little visitor. Just finding more stuff that I can use to weigh these things down. And there I go cutting. But yeah, there's uh, pretty much just two pieces to cut out for this pattern. And so basically, and you cut each out twice. So you're going to have the front and back twice because they're cut on the fold. And then you'll have the side gores and four of those. All the pieces are cut out we haul out the instructions this is actually one of the very rare moments where i actually read the instructions although it is a pretty simple put together for the main skirt you start by adding these side gores to the front and back and then you sew the front and back together oh and there i am at the sewing machine winding my bobbin a little bit of dark history in the background and there so and just simply sew the um the side gores to the front and back After sewing, I can never stress enough how important it is to iron your seams. First I iron them flat and then iron them open. As I was ironing, I decided to try a new technique which is felling the seams. So to do that, I folded down the excess seam under and then sewed it down, just like I'm doing right here. The pattern didn't particularly say to fill the seams, it just said to finish the seams. And my seams are beautifully filled. So that should make it easier to run the boning through. Now after adding the side gores, I now need to sew the front to bent the back. But first I need to mark my openings because I have to have a way to get in and out of the skirt. So now all of my seams for the skirt portion are sewn and felled. And this is the second time I've gone off the rails with this pattern. I decided to base down the side seam up until the point where, I think it was about this point, where I needed to stop and then sew it regularly the rest of the way down. So that way, after I filled the seam all the way down, when I cut these basting stitches, this opening will already be finished. 
and then I can move on to the next part, which is adding the drawstring channel. To add the drawstring casings, what you do is you fold that long piece in half, and then you will pin the raw edges together to the top, front and back pieces of the skirt. And once that is sewn together, you run a string. At this point, I am evening the hem so I can start adding the twill tape. But at this point, I also kind of flatlined on this project and quit recording. And she is done. Quite beautifully. Yeah, this was the... P yeah, this was kind of difficult. I did not realize how hard running boning was going to be. Very much a test in trust the process. But now we're done. <laughs>